Okay, so I need to change that expansion vessel because there's more water in it than there is air now. I've never done this before and I want to change it without having to drain down the system. So I'm going to try and cheat. So there he goes. Down a second. Okay, so I've got the vessel off, and I'm going to put it in there. And what I'm going to try and do is take this off here, fit it to a new one of these vessels. I've got one like for like, exactly the same. I think I paid £45 off eBay for it. But the hard part is, I need the, the, the water supply is still going to come into there. So I need a way of stopping the water supply so I can undo this and fit it to the new one. So. I'm going to try and squeeze the pipe with some mole grips. But I don't want to damage this flexible pipe, so I'm going to put a bit of rubber around there, squeeze it, still the water, disconnect, and then reconnect it to the new one. And hopefully, it'll go well. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Here's my replacement. Exactly what is in there at the minute. It's a Zilmet 541 stroke L. And it is pre charged to one bar. I've checked that already. Yeah, it's got one bar in it, just over. And that is at it's about 15, 16 PSI, I think it was. Something like that. Anyway, it's good to go. That's my replacement part I bought off eBay. Nip, squeeze the tube, a flexible hose, disconnect, reconnect on there. Okay, so I've managed to uh, squeeze it with my mole grips with a bit of rubber so I didn't damage the flexible hose. Took that off, refitted the new one, tightened up. I'm ready to. Oh, turn it on, see what happens. Okay, I've got it back on. Before I turn the actual boiler on, I just release that and I just took it up to half a bar for a start and we'll uh, I'll just leave it running, see where it stabilises. Try and keep it around one bar. But, uh, Uh, no leaks. Okay. Alright. I'll leave that running. See how it goes. <laughs> 